hello students next continuation solve this following application students first one this compound react with dibond in the presence of water strand here cyano group is there diisobutyl aluminum hydride it can reduce only cyano group cannot reduce double bond what is the production that is ch3 ch double bond then ch then cho this complete cyano group only this cyano group is converted into aldehyde simple trick strand now take the second one example students same thing ch3 ch2 cn this compound also having cyano group this dibol diisobutyl aluminum hydride can reduce only cyano group this cyano group is converted into aldehyde ch3 ch2 then cho propanaldehyde the cyano group is converted into aldehyde now take the third example student that is ester group is there student this ester group react with the dibol in the presence of water what i said student ester group giving two types of product will be produced here bond cleavage bond cleavage here one is aldehyde ch3 cho plus one is alcohol c2h5 os but now fourth example student when dibol react with given following compound so here this is no aldehyde is not possible student aldehyde is not possible but here keto group is there so it converted into only alcohol student it converted into only alcohols this is a simple trick student so dibol diisobutyl aluminum hydride it can reduce cyano group it can reduce acid group it can reduce acid chloride it can reduce acid group these are the simple trick student this is a simple trick student next one now take the next example student that is that is first one next example student next continuation that is ch3 ch double bond ch single bond cn given following this given following question reduction with hydrogen in the presence of nickel reduction with lithium aluminum hydride in the presence of acidic hydrogen reduction with dibol reduction with sodium borohydride what are the products same products are different products so generally h2 by nickel it is also a catalytic hydrogenation nickel act as a catalyst it can reduce everything student already we discussed it in previous video so h2 by nickel it can reduce everything double bond and triple bond and cyano group and iso cyano group it can reduce everything so here h2 by nickel it can reduce double bond this double bond is converted to single bond then cyano group cyano group is this carbon is converted to ch2 n is converted to nh2 so what is the final production ch3 single bond then ch is converted to ch2 then ch2 then carbon is converted into again ch2 n is converted into nh2 this is the final product student this h2 by nickel nickel h2 by nickel it is also act as reducing agent so this in the catalytic hydrogenation it can reduce everything double bond and cyano group also the cyano group is converted this carbon is converted into ch2 n is converted into nh2 simple remember student this double bond is converted to single bond this is a simple trick student this h2 by nickel that is catalytic hydrogenation it can reduce everything double bond and triple bond acid group and acid chloride everything it can reduce so this is the final production now second one student second one this compound react with lithium aluminum hydride this lithium aluminum hydride can reduce only cyano group cannot reduce double bond it is also very most important student this lithium aluminum will act as a strong reducing agent it can reduce only cyano group this cyano group already we discussed in previous video students previous video students or cn or cn in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride by in the presence of acidic hydrogen or cn in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride in the presence of acidic hydrogen it can reduce only cyano group that is carbon is converted into carbon is converted to ch2 n is converted into nh2 this is the production so generally here this lithium aluminum it cannot reduce double bond but it can reduce cyano group this carbon is converted into uh, this part same thing student ch3 ch double bond then ch then single bond then this carbon is converted into ch2 then bond n is converted into nh2 this is a simple trick student so this lithium aluminum hydride can reduce only cyano group cannot reduce double bond and the next one student that is dibol this compound react with dibol in the presence of water this dibol it can reduce only cyano group student cannot reduce double bond you remember student 
diabol that is diisobutyl aluminum hydride it can reduce only cyano group only cyano group the cyano group is converted into aldehyde the cyano group is converted into aldehyde so what is the final production this diabol cannot reduce double bond so what is the final production ch3 then ch double bond then ch C CH3 CH double bond from here to here same then this cyano group the cyano group is converted into aldehyde this cyano group is converted into aldehyde this is the final production and next one this compound react with sodium borohydride the sodium borohydride also act as a reducing agent it can reduce it can reduce cyano group only cannot reduce double bond so sodium borohydride is a weak reducer compared to the lithium aluminum hydride so sodium borohydride is a weak reducer it can reduce only cyano group the cyano group is converted into primary amine so same thing it is also similar to lithium aluminum hydride production so it is also similar to lithium aluminum hydride product but this sodium borohydride cannot reduce double bond so here what is the pro final production ch3 then ch double bond then ch single bond then ch2 then nh2 ch2 nh2 this is the final production this following question this following compound this following compound react with hydrogen in the presence of nickel this following compound hydrogen react in the following compound reaction with hydrogen in the presence of nickel it can it gives that is amines is formed so this catalytic hydrogenation it can reduce everything double bond and triple bond and cyano group also lithium aluminum hydride can reduce only cyano group cannot reduce double bond dibol dibol can reduce only cyano group the cyano group is converted into aldehyde but sodium borohydride can reduce only cyano group the cyano group is converted into primary amine so this is the simple question now take the second example question this compound is ester compound in example for ester compulsion this is ester compound so react with hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst nickel catalyst it is also catalytic hydrogenation sir it can reduce everything that is what i said sir it can h2 by nickel it is also ready it is also strong reducer it can reduce everything that is aldehydes ketones esters so here sir this h2 by nickel it gives one is alcohol it giving only alcohol that is ch3 ch2 then ch2oh here bond cleavage student here bond cleavage bond cleavage in between carbon and oxygen this ch3 ch2 ch2oh propanol plus another one is c2h5oh ethanol c2h5oh this is very most important student when ester react with hydrogen in the presence of nickel it gives alcohols two types of alcohols are formed that is one is propanol another one is ethanol now second one student when dibol ester react with dibol in the presence of water dibol diisobutyl aluminum hydride it can reduce that is ester group also this ester group same thing student this here also bond cleavage here, here also giving two types of product will be produced student ester in the presence of dibol ester react with dibol in the presence of water it gives two types of product one is aldehyde that is ch3 ch2 then cho plus one is alcohol that is c2h5oh this is also giving two products and dibol reduction with ester it gives one is aldehyde group one is alcohol one is aldehyde giving another one is alcohols next one student when ester group sodium borohydride when ester react with sodium borohydride what happens student is sodium borohydride is a weak reducer so it cannot reduce ester group it cannot reduce ester group student it is very very most important student sodium borohydride is a weak reducer it cannot reduce ester group so there is no change there is no ch change so it cannot reduce next next one student that is hi by red phosphorus ester can react with hydrogen iodide in the presence of red phosphorus it can reduce ester group also hydrogen iodide already we discussed in previous video hydrogen iodide also strong reducer hydrogen iodide also strong reducer it can reduce that is what i said student hydrogen iodide it can reduce acid group and ester group acid chlorides and aldehydes and ketones and alcohols student these all are giving hydrocarbons students ester group and ester group also giving hydrocarbons so what i said that is hi in the presence of red phosphorus it has a strong reducing agent so it can reduce ester group this ester group is converted into hydrocarbon that means here also two types of product will be produced and this ch3 ch2 this is also one part and this is also one part what is the production that is ch3 ch2 then ch3 
one is propane and another one is ethane CH3 single bond CH3. This is a simple trick for given following a reducing agent students. Ester react with the hydrogen in the presence of nickel, it, gi it gives alcohols. Ester react with the dibol, it gives aldehydes and one is alcohol. And sodium borohydrate cannot reduce esters. And HI by in the presence of red phosphorus, HI also strong reducer, it can reduce esters also, ester giving hydrocarbons. So, your bond cleavage student, CH3, CH2, CH3, acetaldehyde is there, sorry, CH3, CH2, CO group is there, the CO group is converted into CH3 that is propane another one is the C2H5O the C2H5O is converted into CH3 CH3 single bond CH3 this is a simple trick student these are the important reducing agents student if you like my video please like share and comment and thanks for watching student if you like my video please click on like thanks for watching student please don't forget to please click on like thank you